Hello and welcome to Rewind. A little over 10 years ago, we launched Al Jazeera English here in Doha. And so we've been coming here to the Museum of Islamic Art to well, celebrate the channel, and look back at some of the best films we've made during that time. This week, we're rewinding to 2011 and an episode of 101 East, which had secured unique access to North Korea's Elite Screen Academy, a school where young actors were trained in how best to extol the virtues of the country's then dear leader, Kim Jong-il. Here is North Korea, Cinema of Dreams. It's a clear summer day on the banks of the Taedong River in Pyongyang, North Korea. These young students from the country's elite film academy are attending an outdoor lecture. Filming this encounter, a single session lasting just a few hours, has taken us an entire year to arrange. It was in 2008 when we first asked for permission to make a documentary about North Korea's aspiring film workers, as they're called here. Months of negotiations followed, but the answer was always the same. The Pyongyang University of Cinematic and Dramatic Arts was closed for renovations. But then, in mid-2009, we received word that we could meet the students outside the campus. Pyongyang University of Pyongyang的古典剧院的古典剧院的古典剧院的古典剧院的古典剧院的古典剧院的古典剧院的古典剧院的古典剧院的古典剧院的古典剧院的古典剧院的古典剧院的古典剧院的古典剧院的古典
우리는 문화예술 혁명을 하여야 하며 문화예술 혁명 과정은 그러시면서 우리는 문화예술을 위대한 수령님께서 바라시는 주체의 문화예술로 군소해야 한다고 하나하나 가르쳐 주셨습니다. 이 장면에서 보여주자는 기본 사상은 압박이 있는 곳에는 곧 반항이 있는 법이라는 사상을 보여줘야 한다고 그러자면 우리 인민들이 일제놈들에게 죽는 마지막 순간까지 낫과 도끼를 들고 끝까지 맞서 싸우다 죽는 항고하는 이민으로 구려야 한다고 하나하나 가르쳐 주셨습니다. 위대한 장군님이 이룬 종욕적인 지도 밑에 우리 부르의 고전적 명작들이 모두 영화로 옮겨지게 되었고 올라가, 올라가시겠습니다. This is perhaps one of the most unusual museums in the world. A shrine to the man North Koreans revere as a genius of cinema, theatre and the circus. The dear leader, Kim Jong-il. We follow the students on their tour. But afterwards our guides inform us that we've committed a grave error and ask us to delete the bulk of our footage. This is because the North Koreans have a strict rule for filming and photography. As a mark of respect, all portraits of their leader Kim Jong-il and all his words of wisdom must be filmed like this. In their entirety, with no camera movement and no parts of the image cut off. It's a tall order. Photographs of the dear leader line the museum walls. It's hard to move the camera without breaking the golden rule. It feels like a wasted trip, but afterwards a surprise. Just as we're about to interview Um Bom, an unexpected visitor arrives. She's a very famous actress in our country. Oh, Chagogul, we had a great time with her. It was a great joy to see her. <laughs> she wants her, her son to be a patriot, yeah, before an actor. <laughs> What's the difference between a patriot and an actor? A lawyer actor. I mean, the father is the father of the father, and the father is the father of the father. The father is the father of the father. The father is the father of the father. 아들이 나갈 길을 밝혀준 거 그것이라고 생각하면서 나라의 충성 제가 나라에 충성하는 것은 그 영화 연극에서 그 우리 시, 지금 시대의 상을 시대의 인간 전형들을 정확히 창조해내므로써 그 현실의 인간들 현실의 우리 인민들에게 It's six months later and freezing when we next return. Outside the country, the world is on edge as North and South Korea trade barbs over the recent shelling of Yeonpyeong Island. Here in Pyongyang, though, there's hardly a mention of the incident. If people are concerned, no one is saying so. Life goes on as usual. Two years of negotiations have finally paid off. The university, at last, were the first foreign crew ever allowed to film here. For nearly six decades, this institution has existed for one purpose, to train film workers for the state's propaganda machine. Yun Mi and Um Bom are now in their third year. The students quote the dear leader regularly here. There's no denying his influence is everywhere. 
하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, 둘, 둘, 셋, 에이! 남자들 안할 때도 너를 안 해도 인상은 너를 할때 인상처럼 유지해야 돼. 어? 하나, 처음부터. 시. 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, 둘, 둘, 셋, 넷. 영원히 late afternoon and there's a dance class. Yun Mi's been working on another film project and hasn't practiced in months. She struggles to keep up. <laughs> it's the end of a long day at school. Time to head home. In North Korea, housing is free and allocated by the state. You and me lives on this street in one of the newest and smartest apartment blocks in Pyongyang. We've been given permission to visit her home. Oh, it's cold. Cold. <laughs> cold. <sighs> oh, it's cold. Oh, it's cold. It's clear she leads a privileged life. This apartment is a reflection of the family status in North Korean society. Mm -hmm. 
우리 장군님과 당에서 과학자들 그 제일 그 아끼고 그래서 이거 이런 훌륭한 집을 배로 받았습니다. 그래서 부모들에게 시험을 친다고 말은 사전에 했겠습니까? 네, 했습니다. 하니까 아버지도 아버지는 아야 뭐 드는 적단하고 어머니도 별로 반가 안 하더란 말입니다. 그래서 아, 그렇게 아버지 어머니가 그런 식으로 나오면 난, 난 무조건 가서 학교 빼고 와야 되겠다고 생각하고 가서 시험 쳤습니다. 그렇게 하고. 누엔 처음에 대학 갔을 때 얼마나 한심해. 그래서 내가. 유능한 <웃음> 선생님한테 배워서 유미 수준이 전문가 맞지않게 올라오고 보고 내가 이때는 신심을 가지고 유미 영화 배우 하는 걸 적극 지금 지지 돼서 이걸 밀어주고 있어. 어떻게 해서 길게 떼었습니다. 예. 예. 안녕하십니까. 안녕하십니까? 예방 접종 왔습니다. 예, 어서 들어오십시오. 예. 안녕하십니까. 여기가 중성증 맞죠? 예, 죄송합니다. 저 식구수가 네 명입니까? 예. Midweek, Um Bom and Yun Mi start work on a new project. Their director, Park Won Myung, is an exacting taskmaster. 오빠가 여기 좀 숨어 있단 말이야. 간호를 한번 보란 말이야. 둘 키지 않겠는가? 쳐봤다가 되면. It's a simple scene extolling the virtues of the country's health care system. But here in North Korea, even comedies serve a higher purpose. It's bitingly cold the next day, minus six degrees Celsius in the sun. On set, it's also freezing. Most of the crew are in thick winter clothing. But for Um Bom and Yun Mi and their fellow actors, there's no such luxury. They're dressed for their parts. Cold, but ready to start. But then, a power outage. One of several during our time here. They fumble in the dark for a while. And then, it's business as usual. 동생 앉아 있는 거지 그런 거를. 어 두개 앉아 있는 거. 쭉 뽑으란 거야. 그러면 여기 쭉 나오는 거지. One Myung continues working despite the blackout. 이제 여기서부터 여기 나와가지고 내가 여기서 숨어 있는단 말이에요. 아니 이제 여기 나와서 돌만 나오고 나면 독일 갔다가 고울이지 독일 갔다 우세 들어온 여기였다가 다시 또 이게. On set, the actors run through the scene. Yun Mi takes the opportunity to figure out her new prop. 자, 어, 잘잘 After an hour in the dark, they're about to give up and call it a day. When the power comes back on. 오쇼. 오쇼, 오쇼. 자, 여러분들. 쓱 들어왔습니다. 이제부터 시작하시니까. One young gets straight back to work. 빨리 주선을 맞으세요. 오. 고마워. Another power outage. The actors are preparing for the following day. The actors are preparing for the following day. The We've just spent a week with some of the country's most privileged young people. 
they've shown us a tiny slice of their lives, but we're acutely aware that there's much more we've not seen. It's a message we've heard many times throughout the week. A message they're trained to convey to their countrymen. The belief that they exist in a perfect world. A place that really is the stuff of dreams. Cinema of dreams. So what's been happening since then? Well, of course, Kim Jong-il died later in 2011. His son, Kim Jong-un, took over. But Kim will take a few nuclear tests and gradually worsening relations with the West. Not much else has moved on, as uh, Lin Lee and James Yong, who made that film, are all too aware of. First of all, welcome. Thank you for coming in to talk to us today. Have you tried to move on your film since then? Basically, we've been asking to go back to speak to Unbom and Yunmi. And the reply after trying for months was, it's very difficult. <laughs> Documentaries <laughs> are yeah. very difficult mm. at the moment. Is it, is it a different country? Is it a, is, it a, is it a stricter state now even? It's, it's hard to tell, but it seems like, uh, uh, you know, he's tightening up on things and trying mm. to uh, assert himself. So I expect it, it would be, mm. um, you know, the fact that we um, can't get in to follow up Mm. I think it says something. What was it like being there, making it, experiencing this firsthand? I think we, we decided to make a film about this because, um, you know, the North Koreans are quite proud of their, mm. of their film industry. So it was something where, and they're also very upfront about, uh, about it being uh, uh, made for propaganda to, to, to kind of extol the virtues mm. of, the, of the socialist system there. So um, it, was a, it was a way of kind of, seeing how that worked mm. without having to, without, I guess, them being kind of embarrassed about it at all. Okay. It's something they were proud of. Yeah. Well, what sticks with you the most from it? Before going there, you kind of think everyone's brainwashed, everyone's going to have um, to, to put up a certain kind of performance. Mm. Um, and then you see that they're actually real kids as well. So you kind of wonder, you're always wondering, are you, are you, are you memorizing something? Are you being yourself? Are you, you know, um, that. And, I'm get and by the end of it, did you, have an opinion either way, or were you still as confused as when you, you went in? I imagine it's just very difficult to, to comprehend. I think, I think they don't, they're not aware that they're, if they are acting, they're not necessarily aware that they are acting, because it's almost, oh. it's almost what they're swimming in, you know, it's what they've been taught their whole lives, and, and um, uh, you know, they're very proud to be, to be so doing, they, they, doing they're they're cool doing. with it, basically. Because you said mm. that, that they're quite open and know about the, the propaganda value of it, but they're mm. fine with that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. They're proud of it. They're proud of it. They say that, uh, 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 you know, in the West, uh, uh, films are made for profit or yeah. films are made to, and actors um, act to kind of, you know, uh, further their own fame or their mm. career, but that, that uh, uh, in North Korea, they're doing it in the service of, uh, of the state. I, I mean, you must have been on a tight rein there with the officials. We had um, minders with us all the time. Right. Well, they were fixers, yeah. Mm, they, yeah. they made it possible mm. for us to, to film. Right. Um, and in, in many ways, they took a risk with mm. us. But behind them, there, was, yeah. there were people watching them as well. Right. I mean, on a personal level, you know, mm. they're, they're nice people, or the people who are nice people. people. Just that, yeah. um, uh, uh, that when you get onto the topic of you know, politics mm. in, in any way, um, you know, the dear leader, um, America, mm. uh, any of these kinds of things, then a switch goes off mm. and then you know, you know that there's somewhere that you can't don't really, you just don't, you can't have a, mm. a kind mm. of um, rational mm. discussion.
James, Lynn, it's been a pleasure talking to you. So interesting. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thanks very much. And that is it for this week's Rewind. If you want to watch the other films in the series, you can find them on the Rewind page, of course, at aljazeera.com. You can add your own comments if you like. Our Facebook page is at AJ Rewind. But for now, from here in Doha, we'll see you next time on Rewind. Rewind.